What's up, Ace Nation? I'm your host, Taylor Bocelli, here with reporter Brad Walker, who went to the Nelsonville York vs. Dane Trace game tonight at Nelsonville York High School. Tell me, Brad, what was the match like tonight? How did it play out? Well, Taylor, each set told its own story tonight in the sectional final between the Zane Trace Lady Pioneers and the Nelsonville York Lady Buckeyes. The first set was back and forth with neither team being able to put the game away late. The Zane Trace Lady Pioneers pioneered their way to a first set win 30 to 25. The second set was mostly dominated by Nelsonville York. They had some struggle closing this one out but still held on to a win in the set over the Lady Pioneers 25 to 22. The third set was completely opposite of the second. Zane Trace was executing on all cylinders, pulling away to a 25 to 10 set win. The last set brought things full circle and acted much like the first. The Lady Pioneers and the Lady Buckeyes both giving it their all. Nelsonville York looked like they were going to cap it off, but errors and struggles to handle Zane Trace's serves ultimately ended in a fourth set loss, 25 to 23, and the match 3 to 1. With this win, the Lady Pioneers capture a sectional title. Well, it looks like both teams went back and forth for the win tonight. What did both teams struggle with going into the game? Well, they both teams struggled with something that didn't have to do with the players, coaches, or even the fans. The ceiling was the biggest problem for both teams in this one, as both teams had trouble passing since numerous passes hit the ceiling and would be redirected to where the ball ended up being. So why do you think Zane Trace was the ones to come on top tonight, even after such a close match? The biggest reason for Zane Trace pulling away and getting this match win was the play of their captains, Evie Bennett and Hannah Unger. Evie Bennett was all over the court, diving after balls and having excellent serves. Hannah Unger did not have a great start, but came, but came alive and dominated around the net. The rest of the Lady Pioneers seemed inspired by the play of their captains and stepped it up as well, which led them to a sectional title. Well, unfortunately for the Buckeyes, that means it is the end of their season. Thanks, Brad. Make sure to check us out on social media at wub.org sports or follow us on Twitter at WUB Sports. Reporting on Athens County Volleyball, I'm your host, Taylor Bocelli, with reporter Brad Walker. Can you dig it?